It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this tutorial, we're going to continue our journey down the VR beginner, the escape room from Unity Learn. In the previous videos, we completed these steps. We're currently here. Add and configure an interactable object. It will take about 20 minutes to complete. So we'll click continue. Number one, overview. In this tutorial, you'll add your choice of object to the prototype. Figure the object, add interactive, and add interactivity in VR. Tap the object. Let's go ahead and press complete. Before you begin, in this tutorial, you will, use the, you will use the VR Beginner Unity project and your VR hardware. Before you begin, open the VR Beginner Unity project. Check that your hardware is ready. If you're using Oculus Link with the Oculus Quest, enable and connect this now Oculus app. Again, Oculus Link only works on PC. I am on a Mac, so I'm gonna have to select Android build to deploy this. Press mark step as complete. Add a new object to the scene. Now that you can teleport to one of the table boxes, it is time to add an interactable object to the experience. We've created a few different object prefabs. You can add any one of them in this tutorial. To add a new interactable object to your scene, in the project window, navigate to the Assets VR Beginner Prefabs Tutorials Object folder. So over here, I'm already at a location, but let me show you how to get there. I'm gonna to go to Assets VR Beginner Prefabs Tutorials and then objects. So these are the objects we can interact with. Select one of the available objects. Drag your chosen object prefab scene view. In the toolbar, select the move tool and position the object top of the box table near your teleporter. So I can drag in that, drag in a fan, drag in that, drag in whatever that is. Toothbrush. Now it wants me to move, use the move tool to position these objects onto the table. So let's, I'm already selected. The move tool is actually here. So I'm just going to move these guys around. I have a toothbrush. I don't want it in the table. I kind of want it on the table. The fan over here, the blower over here, the laser pointer. And again, you can add multiple of these. So I might just drag another fan, a bubble shooter, another bubble shooter. And there's a bunch of toothbrushes everywhere that you can interact with. Again, if I don't like where it is, I can simply use the move tool and reposition it to where I want it to be. So I think that's pretty good. Step five. Press Control S to save your changes. So I'm gonna come here, File, Save, and that is that. Go ahead and press Mark Step as incomplete. Configure your object. To simplify, to simplify the process of creating interactable objects, the objects in this Unity project have custom scripts attached with control what happens when the object is activated. This is controlled using the XR Grab Interact Opponent. To configure your new interactable object in the hierarchy, select the arrow next to the left of the interactable game object to expand the view of this child game object. Make sure that the parent game object is still selected. So you can see I've added in a bunch of these different interactable objects. Let's just do, for example, the bubble gun. So I'm gonna drop this bubble gun down. I want this selected where I can see all the child objects, but I wanna make sure that I'm selecting the actual object. And you can see there's a picture here. In the inspector, select the add component button, search for XR grab interactable and select the component from the list. XR grab interactable. So we're coming over here. I'm gonna type XR grab, and then you can see interactable. And this pops up. At the bottom of the component, Select the arrow to the left of the interactable event section header to expand it. So you can see here, this is the interactable grab. I'm gonna click on this right here. These are all the interactable events that we can play with. See, they have a picture there. Find the on activate list at the bottom of the component. Select the add button. So very bottom of this, you can see right here, it says on activate. 
and the list is empty, it wants me to click here and click add. In the hierarchy, drag the object activator child game object of the interactable object to none field in your list entry. So this is my bubble. This is the object activator. They want me to click and drag this and drop it here. In the function field, select the drop down menu arrow, go to object activator, activate it. And you can see there's a picture here. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to right here's your function field, object, object activator, and select activate it. This makes the interactable object work by triggering a specific event. For example, the bubble gun emitting bubbles on the activation of the object. Press Control S to save your changes. And press Mark complete. So I'm going to press Mark complete. And we'll come over here. I'm going to do file save. But I added a bunch of different objects, so I want to make sure that I do the exact same thing for these objects. So for my toothbrush, I'm going to, I'm going to close my bubble gun. I'm going to drop down my toothbrush. And you can see, what do I need to add here? Well, let's go back and check. Remember, on my bubble gun, I had to add an XR grab interactable. So I'm going to do the same thing. Toothbrush, add component. There's that XR grab interactable. Expand the interactable events. I go to the bottom on activate you can see the list is empty i'm going to click on plus i'm going to grab in the object activator and put that right there select function object activator activated so anytime someone grabs a toothbrush that will activate i'm going to have to do that for each one of these so i'm going to select this add component here we go interactable objects on activated is here i'm going to do a plus I drag in this one, object activator to none. I'm going to go here, object activator activated. So now these two are done. This is done. My bubble gun number one is not add component, XR grab, scroll down here on activated, add my plus, drag in this. Object activator activated. This one is done. My fan here, select my fan, add that. On activated, click plus. Object activator activated. And that was our last one. Press save. Test your interactable object. To check your interactable object works properly in the Unity editor, toolbar press to play to enter the play mode or build for your Oculus Quest. Again, if you have Oculus Link software on a Windows, you can simply select play and it will work. If you have a Mac like me, we're gonna have to build it. Fast forward on your controller to the display to the teleport array. Use your controller to touch the teleporter base with the ray. Release the thumbstick to teleport transfer cell to the box where you've placed your interactable objects. Reach your interactable objects and press and hold the grip button to pick them up. Press the trigger button to activate them with the interactable object. If you're testing in the Unity Editor, remember to select play on the toolbar again to exit the play menu. So go ahead and press mark complete. If you're on a Mac, you're going to go to file build settings like I have. Make sure you have Android. You can see I have my Oculus Quest connected. If you don't, you can select refresh, or if you have multiple ones, then you're simply going to do build and run. I'm going to overwrite my previous prototype, so I'm just going to click save and re replace. I am at the box. I want to go over there to my teleporter. Here's all of my stuff. So I'm going to grab this, and when I press the trigger, you can see the butt. Put that one down. Let's do this toothbrush. You can see it's shaking. It's pretty cool. Now, I have to reach for this and the fan. You can see the fan works. And I can throw stuff. That toothbrush is still just shaking crazily. Look at that. I press it again. If I press it one time, a trigger, 
shakes. If I stop, let's put it on the table. See? Yep, that is how we actually added these game objects and made them interactable. Summary. In this tutorial, you have added, configured, and tested an interactable object for your VR experience using the functionality of XR Interaction Toolkit. Next, you will enhance your experience by implementing sound effects and closed caption. Go ahead and press Mark Complete. Woohoo, you've completed this tutorial. Keep going in the VR Beginner, the Escape Project. In the next video, we will go through that.